Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're placing the object right halfway between the converging lens and the focal point. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point to see what happens to the image. Well, first, let's find out where the image will be when we place the object right halfway between the lens and the focal point. Well, we can use the equation there to find out where it is, and we can also do it graphically. Let's start out with doing it graphically and see what happens. First, we need to draw a parallel a line parallel to the optical axis, which goes to the halfway point of the lens until we hit the lens, and then the lens will bend the light so that we'll go to the focal point on the other side of the lens. Secondly, we have to draw a line from the focal point or from the, the tip of the object through the focal point of the lens. But since we're already past the focal point, we have to start by drawing a dashed line from the focal point to the tip of the object. Try that again. There we go. And then we continue with the line all the way to the lens. We'll make the lens a little bit longer so that it'll work out just fine. And then the line will continue parallel to the optical axis on the other side. Again, the lens will bend the light in that direction. Now the observer is on the other side of the lens watching these two rays coming in this direction and the eye and the brain will perceive those rays to come from a single point back here. So what we'll do is we'll draw a dashed line in this direction, we'll draw a dashed line in this direction and where the two lines meet that's where the image will be at least in this case it will be a virtual image it's not a real image it's not really there the brain simply perceives as if it's there so let's put the image there and then the distance here s prime is the distance from the lens to the image now since the image is on the same side as the object in front of the lens that's also an indication that it's a virtual image, not a real image. And notice the rays really do not come together there. They just appear to be coming together there by an observer on this side of the lens. Now to find out where the location is, you say that S prime is equal to S, which is the object distance halfway between the lens and the focal point that would be halfway this distance, 10 centimeters times 20 for the focal length divided by 10 minus 20, which is 200 divided by minus 10, which is a minus 20 centimeters. So you can see that when we calculate the number, it puts the image right on top of the focal point on this side. Now what will happen when we start bringing the, the object closer and closer to the focal point? Well, let's try it again. Notice that I'm starting to make the object smaller and smaller. There's a reason for that, and you'll see that in just a moment. Again, we draw a line from the tip of the object straight down to the lens, parallel to the optical axis, then the light will bend, go to the focal point on the other side. And the second ray, again, from the tip of the lens through the focal point to, <clears throat> to the lens. But since we're already past the focal point, we'll draw a dashed line like this. Then continue with the ray. Again, if the lens needs to be a little bit larger, let's make it a little bit larger like this. All right, like that. And then it'll bend and, and go parallel to the optical axis. Again, the observer on this side of the lens, we'll see the two rays coming this direction. The brain projects that, hey, the, the ray must have come from back here somewhere, and this ray must have come from back here somewhere. And so you can see that in this case, the image goes, forms farther and farther away from the lens as you bring the object close and close to the focal point. We'll see that in just a moment when we do the third case. So here we have the image. What I didn't do yet on the first drawing is I didn't calculate the magnification of that image. So let's do that now. So the magnification of the image in case one is equal to minus S prime over S, which is minus a minus 20 divided by S, which is 10, which gives us a magnification of two to one, which means that the image size is twice the object size. And since it's a positive quantity, that means it's the same direction, it's upright, just like the object. Since the object is upright, this is a positive number, that means the image will be in the same direction, upright as well. What makes it a, a virtual image is because this is a negative quantity, placing it in front of the lens. Just like we do in this case, again, we'll calculate the position of the image, S prime is equal to S times F over S minus F. So in this case, S is, hmm, 
Let's make this now a distance of 15 centimeters. So we'll put at the three quarter mark between the lens and the focal point. So S is equal to 15 centimeters. Plug that in here. So we have 15 centimeters times 20 for the focal length divided by 15 minus 20, which is 300 divided by five, which is Oh, that's a minus 5, isn't it? 15 minus 20, and that becomes a minus 60, and this is all in centimeters. Magnification, minus S prime over S, which is a minus times a minus 60 over 15, which is a 4 to 1 ratio, which means that image will be 4 times as large as the object, and now the distance is at minus 60 centimeters, which means 60 centimeters in front of the lens, in other words, 4 times the object distance. And finally, what we're going to do now is place object really, really close to the focal point. So in this case, let's put it in 90% the distance from the lens to the focal point. That would be 18 centimeters. So make S equals to 18 centimeters. The focal point or the focal length is 20 centimeters. So this distance here, the focal length F equals 20 centimeters. And let's see what happens to the image this time. Again, we're going to draw the rays. The first ray is parallel to the optical axis until we hit the lens, and then the ray bends towards the focal point, like so. The second ray should be from the tip of the object to the focal point to the lens, but since we're already past the focal point, then we're going to draw a dashed line like this. Continue this line on. Notice I'll have to make my lens a little bit bigger to make that work. So it goes all the way this way, it bends the ray, now becomes parallel to the optical axis. And for the observer that's looking in this direction on the other side of the lens, we'll see those two rays coming from this direction. And the brain will project out that, oh, the image must be back here somewhere. So you draw this line all the way out this way. Then you draw this line, continue on like this. And you can see that I'm running out of board space. These will not converge until it's way past the board, but that's okay. We can just simulate. So somewhere back here in this direction, you'll have a very large image. You can see that this is a very large image compared to the object size. And let's find out where it's located. S prime is equal to S. In this case, S would be 18 centimeters times the focal length 20 centimeters, 18 minus 20. So this will become, hmm, 200, that's 360 divided by a minus 2, which is equal to a minus 180 centimeters. So it would be at a distance of minus 180 centimeters on that side of the lens, and the magnification is equal to minus S prime over S. That would be minus 180 divided by S, which is 18, which would be a total of 10 to 1 which means that the image size here will be 10 times the object size over there. We're now 90% the distance from there to there relative to the distance between the, the lens and the focal point. So now you can see what happens when you start with the object at the halfway point between the focal point and the converging lens. It puts an image right there at the focal point. As we bring the object closer and closer and closer to the focal point, the image will move farther and farther away, become larger and larger and larger. And of course, in the limit, what happens when the object reaches the focal point, then the image will be at infinity in front of the lens and it'll be infinitely large. So as you put the object closer and closer and closer together, the image will become larger and larger and form farther and farther away in front of the lens. And so now you can see what happens in this particular instance.